Okay, so good afternoon. So this is my demonstration for Vince Castillo for his uh, project named Automatic School Bell Alarm. Okay, so uh, so let me describe the circuit first. So based on the block diagram, we should have a main controller, push buttons, uh, an R RTC circuit, uh, a clock circuit. So a 12 volt adapter will power the device. A trigger circuit and displays. Okay, so uh, the first part, the main controller. This, this is th this part. This is the main controller. So this is connected to the other parts of the device. So this, this here is the display, as you can see. Uh, this displays the mode number, the mode either the regular school day. Right now, it's in regular school day. So this is uh, the clock in military time. So it's. Actually, it's not yet 13.35. It's not yet uh, 1.35. Uh, I was just testing this earlier. So, so this is the last uh, time that I set it, set it on. Okay, so, uh, this is the trigger circuit. So, I have here a chime, a 12-volt chime, to simulate the, the bell or uh, the school chime. So, I, I still have to make the circuit for this one. But th this is... This is uh, simple, really, so uh, there's no problem here. So here we have the push buttons. So we're going to use um, these from the second row to the, the last row. So six push buttons. Uh, six. Uh, one is for the mode button. Uh, one is for manual, plus, minus, set, and back. Okay, so the circuit's done. So this this board this is a this is just a demo board. So this is this isn't the actual board that we're going to use. Uh, we we have to prepare a different board uh, for the project. So so how about the about the functional uh, the uh, the function the function of the device? So we're going to demo that right now. So uh, according to the to the device operation summary. So, the, the function of the device is to automatically play the school bell chime at predetermined schedules. So, uh, the, the schedules are already written in, inside the IC. Okay? So inside the EEPROM of the IC. It's permanently, permanently written here. So, there will be two modes, which can be alternately chosen by pressing the mode button. Okay, so here is the mode button, I think. No, manual button. So, this is the mode button. As you can see, if you press the mode button, the mode changes. So, for, uh, mode 1 is for the regular class days, and mode 2 is for the shortened class days. Okay. So, uh, okay. so, the current mode is shown by a 1x7 one, one, one seven segment LED digit display. This is the 1x7 seven, seven, seven segment digit display. And uh, it should show 1 or 2. So, it was displayed, 1 or 2. Oh, depending on the mode chosen. So, to configure the RTC correctly, we would be using four buttons. Plus, minus, set, and back. So, we have here four buttons. Uh, these, these, uh, these four buttons here. So, this is the set. This is the back. This is the plus, And this is the minus. Okay, so... If you can see... Uh, if you press the set there, so you can see... The device, the device is blinking. So the blinking part, that's the hour. So you can configure the hour first. So if, let's say we want to set it at five o'clock. So five o'clock is seventeen in military time. So that's yeah there. That's five o'clock. So that's five thirty-eight. So if you press the set again, the blinking cursor, uh, the cursor moves to the minutes digit. So uh, currently it's set at 38 so we can uh, set that so let's say we want it to to be set uh, we have to set it at 5 so there so it's, it's it, that's 5 o'clock you press that again uh, there is a confirmation uh, message that will appear so if we press that again so the clock is now set at 5 o'clock the back button uh, acts as a cancel button. So if you press this here, there, uh, one press set, two press set moves to the 
minutes, another press uh, shows a confirmation message. So if, if we press the back button, so let's cancel. So. so if you press it again, it goes back to the minutes. And then if we press it again, uh, we go back to the uh, no, we, we go back to the actual time without changing it. So so we've demonstrated the buttons now. We have the uh, mode here, plus minus uh, set back. And this one, this is the manual alarm. So this is the sixth button. So if we press this at any time, this should sound. This part here, this is the trigger circuit. So if we, we try to press this, there it sounds. If we let go of the button, okay, it stops. Press, stop, press, press, and press. There. So now there are. Uh, uh, Vince gave me a list of uh, the, the clock schedules right here. So these are the schedules for the regular class day, and this is for the shortened class days. So I don't think we can demonstrate this all of them, no, because uh, we have to wait for the time to to, for example, seven thirty. We have to wait for seven thirty and then eight fifty five. So uh, I, I was thinking we, we, we would try to uh, uh, demonstrate at least two only. So let's try this uh, 10, 1025. Okay. So 1025 at mode 1. So the mode button is this one, mode. And then set this at 1025. Okay, uh, uh, let's set that one minute earlier so uh, we can wait for the 10 to 25 to uh, happen. Yes. Okay, so it's 10.24. We could uh, wait for uh, one minute more and then it's 10.25. It should alarm since it's set at mode 1. So, what else? So, uh, we should use a DS1302 RTC. So this is the DS1302 RTC. So as you can see, we have here a uh, uh, coin battery. This is a CR2032 battery. So in case uh, in case uh, power shuts down or there's no power, we could uh, the the clock still continues to run. It will continue to run without power because it's a uh, uh, it has a backup battery. So this doesn't rely uh, solely on the power. So there. It's 10.25, so it's, uh, it sounded the alarm. Actually, this alarm, I've already timed it. It's uh, 15 seconds. Okay, so there. 15 seconds, that's 15 seconds. So, what else? Okay, so the next alarm should sound at uh, 10.30. So, it's 10.25 here then the next uh, bell should sound at 10:30 so uh, let's wait for that okay so we have here the case actually we ha I haven't uh, started with the circuit yet but I have the materials already so I've already uh, finished the case I've already had it made over here so uh, this is the part where uh, the display will be placed so we would have a acrylic plastic here, clear acrylic, acrylic plastic, so uh, it would uh, look neat. So we have here push buttons, six push bu buttons over here. Okay, so uh, we have here uh, the terminal block. This is called the terminal block. So uh, since the device would be connected to a bell, so I, I assumed it would be better if I uh, placed... Uh, screw screw on screw on wires there you can screw on wires there to connect that to the bell and then you can also use that same uh, same uh, same procedure to connect that directly to the school alarm so we have here a switch button uh, there should be another uh, hole here for the DC adapter the 12 volt DC adapter okay so there 
So maybe later I would start with the circuit. So hopefully by tomorrow I would have this finished. But uh, I still have to burn test this for at least two days. It should be three days. Three, three days to one week. So uh, burn testing is uh, supposed to, you know, if, if this, the circuit, the hardware has problems, uh, it should show itself within three or three to seven days. But uh, since the project is already rushed, so uh, I'll just uh, burn, burn it for two days. So maybe later I would uh, send the documents, the circuits, the schematics, and the documents, other documents, the program, so uh, Vince could uh, could uh, study it for uh, for his defense. Uh, there. So let's just wait for the ten to the ten thirty alarm. Okay. So this here is the circuit for the buttons. This here. Over here. This is these are the buttons. Uh, the this is the the port for the trigger circuit for this one. So this uses uh, 12 volts. And uh, this part uses uh, 5 volts. So the buttons, these are not the actual buttons that we're going to use. We'll be using these buttons, the, bit, the larger ones, the red ones, yeah, normally open. And uh, maybe the size of this is just one... This would all fit in one board, this board. It's more or less this size. And we have a, another board that would look uh, this size. So this should contain the power circuit, the power supply, and the cir trigger circuit. There, so what else? There, so it's 10 30. The, 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 the alarm sounds for 15 seconds. There, so uh, it's returned to counting. So if you press this manual button, okay, so there. Well, uh, I'll try to rush this as I try to do it, do this as fast as I can. I, I, I'm, all, I'm also loaded with two other projects, so uh, hopefully by Monday I'll have it delivered to you. Okay, so uh, please be patient. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video and uh, text text na lang. <laughs>